National Acne Positivity Day. On September 1st, National Acne Positivity Day spreads the message of acceptance and self-love while putting our best face forward. As many of us know, we judge our appearance more harshly than we do others. Oftentimes, we allow an outside point of view to affect our confidence based on our appearance. There are days where we judge each blemish and mark. Acne is a universal skin condition and is the number one reason to consult a dermatologist. We produce five videos per week, so please click on the like button and subscribe to see future videos. Like, comment, share, Subscribe. The day encourages us to let go of the stigma associated with acne and take time to love ourselves for who we are. While our skin can make us feel vulnerable, we don't have to give it power over us. Acne may annoy, frustrate, and hinder us. However, acne is a challenge like any other one that we can overcome. Acne is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that causes spots and pimples, especially on the face, shoulders, back, neck, chest, and upper arms. Whiteheads, blackheads, pimples, cysts, and nodules are all types of acne. It is the most common skin condition in the United States, affecting up to 50 million Americans yearly. Acne commonly occurs during puberty when the sebaceous glands activate, but it can occur at any age. It is not dangerous, but it can leave skin scars. The glands produce oil and are stimulated by male hormones produced by the adrenal glands in both males and females. Home Remedies Diet it is unclear what role diet plays in worsening acne. Scientists have found that people who consume a diet that offers a good supply of vitamins A and E and of zinc may have a lower risk of severe acne. One review describes the link between acne and diet as controversial, but suggests a diet with a low glycemic load may help. Tea tree oil. Results of a study of 60 patients published in the Indian Journal of Dermatology, Venerology, and Leprology suggests that 5% tea tree oil may help treat mild to moderate acne. Tea. There is some evidence that polyphenols from tea, including green tea, applied in a topical preparation may be beneficial to reducing sebum production and treating acne. However, the compounds in this case were extracted from tea rather than using tea directly. Moisturizers. These can soothe the skin, especially in people who are using acne treatments such as itotrentinol, say researchers. Moisturizers containing aloe vera at a concentration of 10% or witch hazel can have a soothing and possibly anti-inflammatory effect. Hormonal factors. A range of factors trigger acne, but the main cause is thought to be a rise in androgen levels. Androgen is a type of hormone, the levels of which rise when adolescence begins. Rising androgen levels cause the oil glands under the skin to grow. The enlarged gland produces more sebum. Excessive sebum can break down cellular walls in the pores, causing bacteria to grow. Treatment. Risorcinol helps break down blackheads and whiteheads. Benzenol peroxide kills bacteria, accelerates the replacement of skin, and slows the production of sebum. 
Sicilic acid resists the breakdown of blackheads and whiteheads and helps reduce inflammation and swelling. Sulfur, exactly how this works, is unknown. Retin A helps unblock pores through cell turnover. Azelaic acid strengthens cells that line the follicles, stops sebum eruptions, and reduces bacterial growth. There is cream for acne, but all forms are used for rosacea. Treating moderate to severe acne. Corticosteroid injection. If an acne cyst becomes severely inflamed, it may rupture. This can lead to scarring. A specialist may treat an inflamed cyst by injecting a diluted corticosteroid. This can help prevent scarring, reduce inflammation, and speed up healing. The cyst will break down within a few days. Oral antibiotics. Oral antibiotics may be prescribed for up to six months for patients with moderate to severe acne. These aim to lower the population of P. acnes. The dosage will start high and reduce as the acne clears. Oral contraceptives. Oral contraceptives can help control acne in women by suppressing the overactive gland. They are commonly used as long-term acne treatments. Topical antimicrobials. Topical antimicrobials also aim to reduce P. acne in patients with moderate to severe acne. A dermatologist may prescribe a topical retinoid. Isotretinoin. This is a strong oral retinoid used for the treatment of severe cystic acne and severe acne that has not responded to other medications and treatments.